Hello and welcome to Thought for October the 20th. Our readings today are 2 Chronicles chapters 12 and 13, Ezekiel chapter 46 and John chapters 13 and 14. And our thought is, believe in God. In what circumstances did Jesus say, believe in God? What is it to believe in something? When we or someone says, I believe, there can obviously be varying intensities of meaning depending on the circumstances. If someone rushes in and says, I believe the house is on fire, everyone who hears immediately acts to verify its truth and then to take whatever action they need they can without delay. In our John readings, we have the final message of Jesus before his arrest, a personal message to strengthen the disciples spiritually after Judas the betrayer has left. John 14 starts, Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. They will need the deepest convictions of belief in their minds when, in a very short space of time, he is arrested and they are overwhelmed with anxieties. Only one of them was faithful to Jesus up until the end. And when we come to chapter 19, where the frightful crucifixion scene is described, our eyes light on verses 25 and 20 to 27. Standing by the cross of Jesus were his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. In times of total stress, acts of supporting one another will be essential. Are not such times now more plainly on the horizon of our world than ever? The way we cope will show to ourselves whether we really believe in God. The hearts of the disciples were troubled, but after the resurrection they acted with heartfelt belief. What dramas do we read about in, our, in Acts? These excite and challenge us. Chapter 4 tells us how the disciples were arrested for proclaiming Jesus and the resurrection of the dead. And many of those who heard the word believed. With what conviction the disciples believe now and showed that conviction of belief by their actions. Recall after Jesus told the disciples to believe in God, he then said, let not your hearts be troubled. Surely he is saying that to believers now. Notice how he says this again later in the chapter. It is so important. Verse 27. Memorize it. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled neither let them be afraid. Heartfelt prayer and meditation on God's word provide the foundation for possessing his peace. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's word, remembering that the word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.